So you got your first hobby grade balance charger and you realized you don't know how to toggle between how to charge a lithium ion battery versus a lithium polymer battery. So we're gonna go over how to do that in the interface because the interface is not that intuitive as far as how to go about charging each of those two. So chances are if you're watching this, you probably have the SkyRC B6, which is the blue version of this, but pretty much every balance charger has the same interface, whether or not it looks like this or not. Uh, the reason I, reason I choose the, chose the T-Energy is just because the SkyRC model has a lot of knockoffs with quality control issues. Um, so I, I went with this one. Uh, just a warning, a lot of the ones sh sold on Amazon, the B6 SkyRC ones, the blue one, doesn't come with this charging brick, which you do need to make this operate. So they do charge charge about $36. Some of them include this whole package and some of them only include this and you have to buy this separately. So when you're shopping on Amazon, just kind of make sure that you uh, get the right one and that includes the charging brick. So let's go ahead and charge a lithium ion battery. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this. This is going to be a two cell, 7.4 volt, 800 milliamp hours. So when we set the charger, we're gonna charge at a particular speed in amps. So how you calculate that is 800 milliamps divided by 1000 is 0 0.8 amps. So go ahead and remember that. So first we're going to go ahead and charge, or we're going to plug the JST power lead in, followed by the balance lead. And you do want to do it in this order. It's just a little bit safer. And so here's the menu. I'm going to darken this so you can see the screen better. All right, as you toggle through this, you're gonna see the various battery types. So PB, NICAD, nickel and metal hydride, and LiPo, but you don't see lithium ion, so, which is confusing. You wish they would have just continued it on and then you can just pick it, but unfortunately not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go deeper in the menu and you're gonna change, you're gonna make it so that the lithium ion is gonna be, or lithium polymer will be replaced by lithium ion. And how we do that is we go, back into the menu, into programs. Once you see programs, you're gonna click select, and then you're gonna click that again. When you see this flash, you're gonna to toggle this and you're gonna see LiPo turn into lithium ion. So there's lithium ion. There's actually three choices, LIFE, lithium polymer, and then lithium ion. So once you get what you want, click enter, and again, you're gonna go back to the menu, and then you're gonna use the left button and where we saw lithium polymer, we're gonna see lithium ion. So there we go, lithium ion. So lithium polymer no longer exists in this menu and it's replaced by lithium ion. So when you're ready, go ahead and click enter. And then right here, you can choose to charge, balance, fast charge, storage, or discharge. So right now we're gonna go ahead and balance charge. And then you click enter. And recall it's 800 milliamp hours, so divide by a thousand is 0.8 amps, and that's at one C. Press enter, and I know it's a little confusing because the battery itself says 7.4 volts, but this is correct, and this is 2S. So we're gonna toggle through just so you see other choices. If you have a three cell battery, it'll be 10.8 volts. If you have a 4S lithium ion battery, it'll be 14.4 volts, etc. until six, 6S. Six so we're gonna go back because this is only a two cell battery. Press enter until nothing's blinking. You're gonna hold this down for just a couple seconds. It's gonna check the battery. And when you see this screen, you're gonna press enter one more time. And here, there's just a summary, lithium ion battery, actually just says lithium. And then it's, it's two S and it's charging at 0.8 amps. And you are balanced charging right now. This is the duration of time that has elapsed since starting the charge. This is how many volts that have been put into the system, and this is the total voltage in the battery currently. If you press enter, you can see per cell. So there's six numbers here, but four of them are zero because we only have two cells. So the first cell is at 3.78 volts. The second one is 3.79 volts. So, so we'll, we'll go ahead and just keep this here. We're gonna pause this by pressing the menu button, and we're gonna unplug the balance lead first, followed by the power power connector. Uh, normally you do want to pull it by the connector itself and not the lead, 
but this is a little tight so I have to that cord. So the next one we have here is a lithium, oh before I forget, to tell the difference between lithium ion battery and lithium polymer, the lithium ion you can see has kind of a curved profile. It looks like there's two AA batteries in here. So that's lithium ion. This is comes technically comes with uh, kind of the more entry level cheaper RCs. And if you're moving up or upgrading, you're gonna have a lithium polymer battery, which is basically a rectangular pack. So in here there's two two cells. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the specs here. And this one we have a 7.4 volt. 1100 milliamp hours. So 1100 divided by 1000 is 1.1. So we're going to charge it at 1.1 amps. So same thing, we're going to go ahead and plug in the power lead first, followed by the balance lead. And again, here we're going to have to go back into the menu to program so that we can change where it said lithium ion to lithium polymer. So program, enter, and then right click. Oops, oh, okay. Sorry. You're gonna click this until you see that flash. Then you're gonna click right until you get lithium polymer. And we're done, you press enter. And you gotta go back to the main menu. And then you're gonna press left. And where it said lithium ion should say lithium polymer. So it does say lithium polymer. So we're ready to go. Again, we press enter, and we're gonna balance charge. And 1100 milliamps divided by 1000 is 1.1. And you'll notice, are you gonna press right to go higher? And you'll notice um, 1.1 amps and then 2S, and then we'll go ahead and charge as normal. But one thing to note is that if you're going to storage charge, you cannot charge, you cannot storage charge faster than one amp. So no matter how many times you press this, one amp is gonna be the highest. So even though we have an 1100 milliamp hour battery, we can't storage charge it at 1.1 amps. But that's pretty much it.